Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. So today I have with me the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Custom Finish Powder Foundation. And I have shade 110 Alabaster. So it comes in this black compact. You've got the red line down here and this is plastic. It's pretty, it's pretty thin. So you can see that it's a sleek palette and this red line gives like a little bit of a lip here in the center for you to open it. Um, but honestly, I guess I kind of, even though it's got this little lip area, you can see it, it's hard for me to open there. So I actually have to pull on the, the side edge where the bottom kind of overlays. So you've got a mirror on the top and then you have the foundation and it comes with a sponge and the sponge has two sides. So there's a white side and a black side. So they recommend that you can use this sponge, the black side, you can use it if you'd like to use this wet, you just dampen this and use the black side and the white sides for dry. So I've worn this um, one day already just to kind of test it out. And I thought today we would um, test it out. I'm gonna do a half of my face with the white side of the sponge and then half of it with a brush so you can just kind of see the difference there. Then I'll try it another time wet and we can test that out. But um, so far, you know, if you're looking for a powder foundation, this might be a contender. So I'm gonna do an all day wear test today. So I'll give you guys updates and we'll just see how it goes. So let's get started on application. So I'm gonna get some on here and you can see it does, you know, add a little bit of pigment there. It colored my red. <laughs> it just helps even out my um, skin a little bit there. I don't know why, but my skin has been very angry looking recently. I think it's the change in seasons. Very sensitive skin. So like a couple times a year, I always have these issues where my skin just starts looking pretty badly for a few weeks and then it gets better. So I'm gonna use the Sonia G Face One brush. Got some powder on here. I'm just gonna kind of buff it in slowly. So if you look at both sides, I feel like um, they are pretty similar in coverage, but I feel like the brush side has a little bit more of a blurring effect. But at the same time, I also see a little bit more powder. Like I don't think there's actually more product there, um, but I think the way it lays down, it's you know maybe like the hairs on my face or something that's adhering to there a little bit more with the brush. Um, so we'll let that sit down for a minute and see here. All right, I'll just add a little bit more with the sponge on this side to see if anything's more apparent. So I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but Maybe it just needs to sit for a minute. Um, when I do use powders like this, I often uh, spray my face afterwards. I just use this, um, I don't like using like the setting sprays and stuff because I inevitably get some in my hair and it gets stiff or, you know, I just, I like having, I just don't like the texture and the feeling of it on my face. So, you know, I, I don't use those often, but I do often use something like this. This is just like a mineral water from Evian, so it's a facial spray. I've actually had this for years. I think I got this in like a, a three pack or something many, many years ago, and this is my last bottle. So um, I used to use mineral makeup exclusively for the longest time, and I would always spray my face afterwards with that. All right, so I don't know. I think the powder, just as I've been talking, you know, it's kind of settling down getting a little bit more moistened by my skin. So I'm thinking they're looking pretty similar now. And 
there we go. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. Okay, so I finished my makeup. This is the powder foundation on. I did not add any additional powder on top of that. And I actually used the Shiseido powder foundation um, underneath my eyes on top of, to set the concealer. So that that's it. I didn't apply any more powder, but I did use powder blush. I used the Givenchy Gardens, the Spice Blush and the new Chanel A Cloud Du Désert uh, highlighter. So that's the additional um, powder products that I have on my face. Other than that, um, this is everything. So I will see you guys in a little while with an update, but thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, I'm back with an update on the Shiseido Powder Foundation. So it's been about five hours, and I think overall it is wearing very nicely. I am really liking this. So you can see like even around my nose and, and so forth, I'm not having any breakthrough or like you're not seeing any um, accumulation of product in any of the lines or anything. And it's looking pretty much the way it did when I applied, except obviously not as powdery. So once that powder sunk in, which only, it only took a few minutes actually, it, it soaked in or whatever you wanna call it <laughs> pretty quickly. So I think it looks really natural. Um, I like it. It doesn't have like any sort of texture or anything. My skin feels just like my normal skin. And there has been no color change or oxidation with this. And so far, so good. So I'm thinking at this point that it might be a really good option, um, particularly during the summer where sometimes I just want like a light dusting of powder instead of like a, an actual foundation and this is looking like it might be a good option, but we'll see as we wear it longer. So I'll be up, I'll be back later with another update, thanks. Okay, so I'm back with an eight hour update for the Shiseido Powder Foundation. And I think overall it's held up really well. I definitely still have the powder on. It has not like shifted, I don't see any like real fading, but I do have a little bit more, um, you know, it's like a dewier look. And overall though, I think it looks good. So you can see, you know, even here by my nose and everything, it's still pretty much the same. I have blown my nose a couple of times today and I don't really see any issues with it, like caking up in spots or anything like that. So um, yeah, so that's it for now. And We'll see you later. Okay, so I'm back and I cleaned off the right side of my face, although I, I did leave the eyes. Um, but you can see now how much coverage you get from the powder foundation, even after eight hours of wear. And this is freshly washed. So some of my redness is dampened and you know, it's really, you know, this looks like splotchy and here, even though I still have some pink and redness shining through, it's, it's blurred. So I think that's the biggest difference there. So here you go, and this side has the powder foundation. No foundation? Yes, foundation. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to apply this wet and show you guys what it looks like wet. So the directions on the box, it says uh, it includes a double-sided sponge designed to pick up the perfect amount of foundation, whether used wet or dry. For wet use, dampen black side of sponge with water and wring out excess before picking up powder. So I just did that, I got this damp. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up some powder on here, okay? And I'll apply it on this. In the past, I haven't really liked um, using powder foundations damp because I feel like they often get thicker and I just don't really like the consistency, but I have to say this one actually feels really lightweight. All right, sorry, um, sorry for the background noise. <laughs> it's, all right, so that's a, a couple of coats. It's very sheer, very lightweight. Texturally, it actually feels very smooth. And actually, I really like the texture. I didn't think I would, but it feels like a cream to powder foundation this way. So I think, um, I think I will actually be using this wet sometimes. And it doesn't really give too much coverage at all. It's definitely a very lightweight coverage and the texture is just, it's really nice. So let me just do my nose real quickly. 
All right. So there you go. Yeah. I think, um, I think I actually ended up with more product on my face using the powder dry and less with it wet. Um, so I think if you want more coverage, you might want to use it dry and then just maybe dampen it afterwards or not. But, um, yeah, I, I like this. It's a nice sheer look and really the texture is really, really nice. So, okay. Thank you Before so much. I forget, I just wanted to note one thing. When you do take the sponge out, this is like, um, I mean, this is plastic, but it is perforated or I can't think of the word, <laughs> you know, it has holes in it. So this, that way, if you are using a sponge and you're using it wet, it can air dry without creating humidity inside the compact. So just a note there um, that they did provide that. However, if you are somebody, like I often take out sponges and brushes and things from all of my compacts, I think you will get a little bit of fallout. You can see you've got some like fallout here along the edges. And I think you definitely gotta keep the sponge here or you'll get stuff falling through, um, you know, kind of making a mess. So just a note. Okay, so just some final thoughts on the Shiseido Powder Foundation. I actually really like it. So I think when you first apply it, if you use it dry, it does have that powdery look, but that's not gonna last very long unless you have incredibly dry skin. So if you have super dry skin and you know your skincare doesn't make it moist and dewy looking, I would not recommend using it dry. Um, however, using it damp, if you want like sheer coverage, I really feel like this kind of gives you um, a drier version of a tinted moisturizer. So if you're looking some, for something with as light of a coverage as a tinted moisturizer, I feel like using this powder foundation with a damp sponge provides that for you, but provides it in a drier finish. So tinted moisturizers often have more of that dewy look, you know, freshly moisturized skin and so forth. But if you have like oilier skin and you're looking to kind of dry it down a little bit, I think this is a good way to do that. Um, I don't think it has dried out my skin or anything at all, and I don't think it looks dry on my skin. Uh, so I, I really like it. Now my skin is mostly normal. Um, in the winter, it gets a little dry. In the summer, it can be a little combo, but for the most part, I'm pretty much normal in the spectrum. So I feel like if you are, you know, a little bit oilier than me, this might be a really great match. Although if you have super oily skin, you're, I don't know. I don't know for sure if you're gonna have like breakthrough and stop product breakdown um, from the powder or not, but you know, I, I didn't. It's held up very, very nicely. Again, this is the dry powder side and this is after eight hours of wear. So I think this looks really good. And this, you know, I just applied this a few minutes ago with the damp sponge. It's definitely lighter coverage. I see more of my redness in this side than I do over here. This is definitely much more blurred and I did not add additional like uh, finishing powder or anything like that. So wet will definitely give you lighter coverage, but I like the feeling of both of them. And I think that Unless you have really, really dry skin, this is something that could work for you. And if you have combo or oilier skin or normal skin, I think it's a really great product. So that's it for that. Um, I definitely think I will be continuing to use this. And I think it's gonna be something that I use a lot during the summer because there are definitely those days during the summer where you know, it's really hot out and you just don't want to put anything on. Even sometimes like tinted moisturizers can start to feel a little heavy. So I think on days like that, I like to just use a little bit of powder. And I think this is definitely something that has impressed me. I haven't used Shiseido makeup in many years. Um, so I figured I would try it out and I really like this. So I did use this um, once for a full day before I started filming anything and I wore it dry applied with a brush the whole time and I also you know really liked the finish after a while so again you're gonna get like a little bit of that powdery look until your skin's oils kind of you know help absorb some of that powder but I think it has a fantastic finish and I really enjoy the way it looks so overall this product gets a thumbs up from me and uh, let me just double check, make sure there's nothing I missed here on this package. 
but no, it just says apply powder wet or dry for a customized natural finish. They're using active force technology. It synchronizes with skin and resists heat, humidity, and motion. And it's supposed to be 24 hour wear, sheer to medium buildable coverage, flawless, weightless. And I mean, I, I'm not gonna try it for 24 hours because I never wear makeup for that long. But you know, after eight hours, it looks great. And I am excited to try this in the summer when it gets warmer out during the summer and there are actually those hot sweaty days. I will definitely do another wear test of this. But you know, so far I think it is fantastic. I actually, I really, really like the way that this dry powder side has finished at the end of the day. Um, I think it's definitely um, gonna be something I, I use on a regular basis. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, uh, comments, suggestions, please leave them down below. And if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I hope to see you in my next video. So if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Thank you so much and have a great day.